Wow. Kyle Dubas not returning as GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Pretty crazy. I uh, just wanted to record a quick reaction video. Dubas not GM of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Honestly, guys, I was I was holding hope. And you know what? A lot of people are going to watch a video like this or, or look online and just leave fans' reactions and, and go, didn't you guys want Dubas out of here, man? You guys didn't get out of the first round until this year, all this stuff. You know what? I, especially this year, to me, this was like a very defining year for Kyle Dubas and, and all the moves that he made I think fans and overall just people in Toronto if they didn't have trust before they regained a lot of trust in Kyle Dubas so just the moves he made obviously the big guys the guys on the ice need to have some major accountability here and you know what family comes first I'll always say that so whatever's going on behind closed doors between Kyle Dubas and family that's what's most important but this is really sad I mean this is a sad day uh for the Toronto Maple Leafs who knows who's going to come in as the new GM. And honestly, I mean, bye-bye Sheldon Keefe. I, I think it's probably going to be it for him. And if it's not, I'll be shocked. I, I really think Keefe had a longer leash because Kyle Dubas was here. If Kyle Dubas is not GM or not part of this Toronto Maple Leafs organization, Sheldon Keefe needs to go. Y you had so many opportunities and I understand a younger coach and, and learning on the job, but so is Kyle Dubas. So if Dubas is not here, Sheldon Keefe shouldn't be, be either. And there's probably going to be a lot of moves. I mean, what does this mean for Austin Matthews now? I think that's going to be a lot of questions. Guys, I'll be uploading a bunch of videos. Shanahan's going to address the media at 3 p.m., so I'll keep an eye on that, make some more videos tonight talking about it, but I just wanted to record a quick, just literally straight-to-it video, uh, just a reaction video, raw re reaction. <laughs> just Honestly, I'm laughing because I can't believe this is the reality. Kyle Dubas, I know his contract was expiring, but... MLSC was even ready to offer him a contract. So as much as the statement will say they parted ways, I do believe this is probably a lot to do with Dubas' decision here and stepping away. And, and he has said that he's not going to join another team, but we'll see what happens, guys. Um, yeah, sad day. Man, I wanted Dubas to stay. I mean, you know what? The Leafs haven't had success, but younger GM, and he's shown a lot of progress. I mean, this past year, uh, I really think this year was more of the accountability on the players, especially the big boys, instead of a guy like Dubas. And you know what? I was calling for Keefe to be fired, not Dubas. So Dubas is gone, as I said, no more Keefe. And what does this mean for guys like Austin Matthews, who really loved the system with Dubas and found comfortability there? Give me your thoughts, guys, in the comments. This is a sad one, in my opinion. Uh, drop a like, notification bell, all that good stuff. But uh, definitely comment what you think is going to come for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And we'll see what Shanahan has to say later. And yeah, more videos and streams to come. Peace.